All right. So thank you for all the submissions. There are lots of really, really cool options. It's great to see the A to B. It's interesting. I, I look at this run, and I really like it. There's some really good stuff in it. Got a nice offset on the feet. I think I would say one thing would be arcs on your arms. See how the arm goes boop, 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 out here. That's not too bad. It comes back. And once it hits that point, it goes back the other way. So it's not doing that. It feels like it's doing that type of thing. It doesn't really finish that arc. A little picky thing there. Just through that. It feels like pow, hits that wall. goes over. The rest is great. You got the same thing on this arm. Boom. Kind of hits that invisible wall. Feet are cool. They got your nice soft thing there. Boom. I wonder if on the head, it's a bit stiff. I feel like on the, boom, on that impact, especially on that push off, going up here, you know, from here to here, you have a slight dip down, but I think you can just bring it a bit lower. So if that's the orientation, it could be down like that, just a bit lower. But then funny enough, looking from, from A to B, it almost feels bouncy on the up and down. It's kind of a playful, playful bounce. Again, it doesn't look wrong. It depends what you want to go for. If it's more of like a faster, concentrated run, that would reduce the up and down. But yeah, the main thing is just the arm. If you play it in, uh, in real time, you can see kind of the hit on the arms there. That's kind of the main thing that I saw, and I felt like the head was a bit too stiff going up and down. Picky, 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 but it's good stuff there. She is definitely still a bit stroby. You mentioned something where like to me, it's her arms, and it could be something where you could offset where this guy and then the next arm goes. So it's maybe, you know, one could be just a bit more outstretched like that. There's something about this being, like, I see just arms flashing in and out in the front and back position. I see more of an arc and a continuation in the legs. But that's all only in this view. Like, from the A to B... It seems actually just great. Now, now you might argue it's also really small, but I like the offset on the feet, and her arms are not as poppy or you know hitting, hitting a wall. So she's great. Yeah, it might just be a visual thing seeing it from the side. I think there's nothing wrong with the walk. I mean, at this point, you know, I just, I just see this arm going from here to here like that's the range that I see in the arm and you play back it's kind of like she's holding she's not moving forward and back with her arms but you know what at this speed um, the thing is also there's no motion blur so you can always run this motion blur and it'll be just fine you know what I mean like there's some things where we have that at work as well, where it kind of looks weirdly stroby, but then you add motion blur to it and it's just fine, and you will have motion blur at the end. So again, I would say this is just fine. Um, this guy was cool, and I like what you did with uh, both of them together. I think, impression-wise, I feel like maybe there are two, two things with his head. The head, are, the head is a bit soft. I think on steps like this, it's a fairly impactful step and I feel like you can feel a harsher impact on the head so boom right here that head would actually go down you see how the root goes up but the head doesn't so this would be a good point for you to have uh, if it's the rotation it would be it doesn't matter where it goes right but it's not like that and you don't want it to be like this you want to break the tangents and make them 45 degrees so that there's a slight here you know it's just it's a slight break. It's not super smooth. It's not super linear. Um, and I'll give that to the head. Because there comes a point here, right there, where you have this up and uh, up in the root and kind of rotation in the head, where it feels like it's slightly pivoting off the chin or the nose. So I think the timing is just slightly off on the head. I think you want to feel a bit more of a boom here. The head goes down. A for the impact of the step, but also because the root goes up. And that would be my main thing. Arms are good. 
I don't see any pops in the knees. Nope, looks good. Feet are offset and tilted with an arc. Yeah, that's, that's an offset there. It's really good. Cool. It's really, really cool. It's just the softness of the head. It feels like there's a kind of rotation that's not quite working with the steps and it's just a bit soft. And kind of the same on her, not as much. Like if you had to offset, if you take the whole animation of the head of the guy and you offset it by four frames, for her it would be, or for five, her would be two or three. This is a little bit of, she goes up and it's going down just a bit too late so that you get into a section where it's kind of countering the down with a rotation. For want to feel a bit more of a boom here down just a bit again uh, two frames sounds ridiculous but it's just just enough to give it the correct rhythm arms are nice it's all very smooth crossing over of feet offsets see any poppy knees they might argue they're slightly wiggly left and right Whoop, right there it goes a bit to the left and then sticks This gives you kind of a wobbly feel to it, but again, there's nothing that majorly stands out. I think my main impression was that's not you, it's a rig thing, like her arms are really long. I think uh whereas with the with the kid you had kind of the soft head. Her main for me main impression is soft shoulders. I feel like her shoulders are going up and down a bit too much. It might be a combination with her chest too. But there's something about in this view, I'm talking this view. There's a bit softness throughout here. And I think that's it. So you got an offset on arms that swing after the foot plans. Yeah, I think you might get away with lowering that shoulder just a bit here so it's not so that super straight arm through here you know this gets very military like from here to here and imagine you're lowering the shoulder and you leave arms that might be just slightly bent that might help you get away from the up and down softness in the shoulders again this those are picky notes it's they're really great walks and then you got this guy where they look over I think for this one um, I think it's just for both of them a bit too poppy. I know they want to have kind of a quicker reaction. But the thing that's a bit tricky is how A is how quickly she looks. But it's the combination of how her head and chest are so in sync. Like you really want to drive the whole thing with the head first. And then the chest goes with it. And the same on him. There are a couple of things that are neat with his knees. So when he goes over, that's not too bad. But again, it could delay just a bit more. But then you got a massive pop out on the knee. Boom, and it hits the wall and doesn't continue out. It's just like this frame, you could reduce the knee halfway. And you got the same thing with this. And then it gets really, really tricky here. I know this is just the view. <laughs> like it seems fine in the side view, but there's something really funky as this guy goes back. So you want to take that knee and bring it forward to something like that. looking at it in this view you can see the pops in the knees as well it's a cool presentation though I like that it's just very very fast same thing on her return and the rotation is also very very flat I think you can add you know if you're getting into this you would have a little bit more of an probably an under arc so it's not just doing this but kind of going like that kind of goes up and the nose goes up and she settles a bit and because of that, you know, it might be a moment where it's a bit more bent back, head up a bit, and kind of also offset the um, the legs. Like the tricky thing on something like this, if you do a turn like that, it just feels very much like you just rotated this, rotated this a bit, and kind of left a rest. And at this point, you almost want to have the foot 
be more sideways, like he's starting to take a couple sideways steps, maybe one or two, and then goes back into that. Because for him, it's a bit more like, what's going on back there? And to me, he would be more casual. Whereas her, she's looking, and now she got caught, so she's a bit stiffer. And then maybe her swings would be, wouldn't be as big. So she looks back. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, then you're getting into character territory and well, how does her animation, how is the animation influenced by her state of mind and the actions of what she's feeling or what they're trying to do here? And probably presentationally, you might at this point have her, you know, if she walks this way, she might walk this way. Just because she's looking away and she's not quite concentrated. Um, just also presentationally, was we're starting to cover her. Like it's almost like you want her to be here while he's here. If I'm watching this, you know, it gets kind of weird how we're trying to uh, wipe over her. It's a little picky presentation thing. But I think that's it. Yeah, alright. I hope that all makes sense. Um, if not, let me know. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.